Hello everyone, my name is Jay Goldberg, Senior Community Manager for Origin, and I'm here today to detail the changes in our new client, version 9.0. And many of the changes in this version come directly from your feedback. The best way to show off the initial changes is to first show you our current version, 8.6. This is what you've grown to know over the past few months. Your friends list on the right side, the gear icon or cogwheel as some of you may know it for all of your settings next to it at the top, and of course selections for your games, and the store. Now, let's move away from what you've been using and take a look at 9.0 for the first time. The first big change you'll notice immediately is that your friends list is missing. You're probably wondering where it went, so let's navigate to the top right corner next to your username. If you click on this new Show Friends button, a pop-up window featuring a fully movable friends list will appear. All of the same functionalities including real name rollovers and your current status are available, but you can also move this window anywhere you would like, even outside the boundaries of the client window. The number within that button is equal to the number of your friends currently online. The second change you may have noticed at this point is the new navigation bar located at the top. Previously, this functionality was located completely within the gear icon, but after listening to your feedback, we've made it much easier to navigate. Under Origin, you'll see selectable options for functions such as redeeming a product code, application settings, and ways to adjust your personal account. You can also quickly go into offline mode from this menu as well. Under application settings, which I'll pull up right now, we've also brought back the highly requested option to choose whether you load Origin directly on the store or into your My Games section. The usual options for game install directories, some basic account settings, and more can all be found here as well. The Friends selection at the top has the exact same functionality as the new pop-out friends list, allowing you to quickly add a friend, go offline, or change your avatar in a snap. I think it's time we finally moved over to the My Game section, since, like you, I spend a fair amount of time there, and we've made quite a few notable changes. Out of the gate, you'll notice the higher resolution box art available, since we've added a new scaling feature for the grid view. You can have just a few games across, or many, using this slider. We've also made modifications to the background design and the immediate information shown to you. Instead of hitting the I icon below the box art from previously, you can now hover over any of your games to bring up the options and information menu. One portion we removed from this update is list view, but it will be returning in the future. Returning also is the ability to hide any games you wish to not have in your list with just a simple right click on any game box. We've even made some modification to the in-game overlay when we held an open forum for suggestions a few months ago, more than a few people asked for a clock in the overlay as there had not been one previously. For example, if you were playing Mass Effect 3 full screen blocking your desktop system clock, you can now hit Shift plus F1, or whatever combination you may have set up in the options, and the clock is now displayed in the upper right corner ready for viewing. The web browser remains from before as well, and access to your friends and settings. Behind the scenes, we've also made some back-end improvements to Origin as a whole, upping the general performance and setting us up for more agile development. This will allow us to continue improving Origin with bigger and better features in the near future. This concludes our Origin 9.0 video walkthrough, and I want to stress that we're always looking for feedback from our community on what new features each of you would like to see in Origin, or what you would like to see change for the better. At any time, please head to the Ideas and Suggestions section of the EA.com forums and post up your ideas. Our ears and eyes are open as we continue to update and improve your origin experience. Thank you for watching.